Fact number one The Great Pyramid of Giza, built for Pharaoh Khufu, is the largest of the pyramids and one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or the Pyramid of Cheops, stands as a testament to the ancient Egyptians' engineering prowess and architectural genius. Constructed around 4,500 years ago, it was the tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years, reaching an astounding height of approximately 481 feet, 146 meters. The pyramid's construction involved an astonishing amount of labor and meticulous planning. It is estimated that it required the efforts of tens of thousands of workers over a period of 20 years to complete. The pyramid is made up of approximately two, three million blocks of limestone, each weighing an average of two, five tons. The precision with which the blocks were cut and fitted together is remarkable, considering the limited tools available at the time. The purpose of the Great Pyramid of Giza was to serve as a monumental tomb for Pharaoh Khufu, the second ruler of the fourth dynasty of Egypt's Old Kingdom. Fact number two The ancient Egyptians believed in an afterlife and constructed elaborate tombs, such as the Valley of the Kings, filled with treasures and protective spells to ensure a prosperous journey in the afterlife. In ancient Egyptian culture, death was not seen as the end but rather as a transition to another realm of existence. The belief in an afterlife led to the development of intricate burial practices and the construction of elaborate tombs to ensure the deceased's well-being in the next life. One of the most famous burial sites in ancient Egypt is the Valley of the Kings, located on the west bank of the Nile River near modern-day Luxor. It served as the final resting place for many pharaohs and nobles of the New Kingdom period, roughly from the 16th to the 11th century BCE. The tombs in the Valley of the Kings were meticulously designed and decorated to provide everything the deceased might need in the afterlife. These tombs were carefully hidden and adorned with elaborate wall paintings depicting scenes from the deceased's life, religious rituals, and mythological stories. The belief was that the paintings would serve as a guide and bring the individual comfort and familiarity in the afterlife. Fact number 3 Cleopatra 7, the last pharaoh of Egypt, was known for her intelligence charm, and alliances with powerful Romans, including Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Cleopatra VII, often referred to simply as Cleopatra, is one of the most iconic figures in ancient history. Born in 69 BCE, she ascended to the throne of Egypt at the young age of 18 and went on to become one of the most influential and powerful rulers of her time. Cleopatra's reign was marked by political cunning, strategic alliances, and a deep understanding of diplomacy. She was highly educated and fluent in multiple languages, which allowed her to engage with influential leaders of the time on equal footing. Cleopatra's charm and intellect made her a formidable figure, and she utilized these qualities to maintain Egypt's independence and secure her own position of power. One of Cleopatra's most well-known alliances was with Julius Caesar, the Roman general and statesman. Cleopatra sought his support in her struggle to reclaim her throne and their relationship quickly evolved into a romantic one. Cleopatra's wit and charisma captivated Caesar, and their union resulted in the birth of a son, Caesarian. This alliance not only solidified Cleopatra's hold on the Egyptian throne, but also established her as a significant player on the Roman political stage. Fact number 4. The Rosetta Stone, discovered in 1799, proved instrumental in deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics as it contained inscriptions in both hieroglyphics and Greek. The discovery of the Rosetta Stone marked a breakthrough in our understanding of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, which had long remained an enigmatic script, unearthed in 1799 during Napoleon Bonaparte's military campaign in Egypt. The Rosetta Stone became a key to unlocking the secrets of a civilization that had been silent for centuries. The stone, measuring about 45 inches, 114 centimeters, in height and 28, 5 inches, 72 centimeters, in width, bears inscriptions in three scripts, hieroglyphics, Demotic, a simplified script used for daily purposes, and ancient Greek. This trilingual nature of the Rosetta Stone became the key that allowed scholars to decipher the once mysterious hieroglyphic script. The breakthrough came through the work of French linguist Jean-Francois Champollion who dedicated himself to unraveling the complex system of hieroglyphics.
By using the Greek text on the stone as a reference point, Champollion was able to decipher the phonetic values of many hieroglyphic symbols. This discovery paved the way for a deeper understanding of ancient Egyptian history, culture, and literature. Fact number 5. The Egyptians worshipped a vast pantheon of gods and goddesses, with each deity having specific roles and associations, such as R.A., the sun god, and Isis, the goddess of magic and fertility. Ancient Egyptian religious beliefs were deeply intertwined with every aspect of daily life. The Egyptians worshipped a multitude of gods and goddesses, each representing different aspects of the natural world, human experiences, and cosmic forces. These deities played crucial roles in Egyptian mythology and were central to the religious rituals and practices of the civilization. One of the most significant gods in the Egyptian pantheon was R.A., the sun god. R.A. was believed to be the creator of the universe and the ruler of the heavens. He was often depicted as a falcon-headed man or as a sun disk with a serpent encircling it. R.A. was associated with light, warmth, and life-giving energy and his journey across the sky represented the cycle of day and night. Another prominent deity was Isis, the goddess of magic, fertility, and motherhood. Isis was often depicted as a woman with a throne-shaped headdress or as a woman with wings outstretched. She played a crucial role in Egyptian mythology as the wife and sister of Osiris, the god of the afterlife. Isis was revered for her healing abilities, magical powers, and protective nature. Fact number 6. The ancient Egyptians were skilled astronomers and developed a calendar based on the movements of the stars, particularly the annual flooding of the Nile River, which played a crucial role in their agriculture. The ancient Egyptians possessed an advanced understanding of astronomy and celestial movements. Their observations of the night sky were not only driven by a fascination with the stars but also had practical implications for their agricultural practices and religious beliefs. One of the most important astronomical events for the Egyptians was the annual flooding of the Nile River. This natural phenomenon marked the beginning of their calendar year and was vital for the fertility and productivity of their agricultural lands. The Egyptians observed the correlation between the rising of the star Sirius, also known as the Dog Star, and the imminent flooding of the Nile. This became a crucial astronomical marker for the timing of agricultural activities. To track the movements of celestial bodies, the ancient Egyptians developed various instruments, including the merkit, a type of observation device, and the sundial. They used these instruments to measure the position of the sun, stars, and constellations throughout the year. By carefully observing the sky, they were able to establish a calendar system that aligned with both solar and lunar cycles. Fact number 7 Ancient Egyptian society was highly structured, with pharaohs at the top followed by priests, nobles, scribes, craftsmen, and farmers, creating a hierarchical system that maintained order. Ancient Egyptian society was characterized by a well-defined social structure that played a crucial role in maintaining stability and order. This hierarchical system placed the pharaoh, or king, at the apex of the social pyramid. The pharaoh was considered divine and held absolute power and authority over all aspects of society. Below the pharaoh were the priests, who served as intermediaries between the gods and the people. They conducted religious rituals, maintained temples, and oversaw the spiritual well-being of the kingdom. The priests held significant influence and were responsible for upholding the religious beliefs and practices of ancient Egypt. Fact number 8 The construction of temples, such as the Temple of Karnak and the Temple of Luxor, was a significant aspect of ancient Egyptian culture, dedicated to worshipping the gods and conducting religious ceremonies. Temples held immense religious and cultural significance in ancient Egypt. They were considered the dwelling places of the gods and served as centers for religious worship, rituals, and community gatherings. The construction and maintenance of temples were integral to ancient Egyptian society, reflecting the deep-rooted religious beliefs and practices of the civilization. One of the most remarkable temple complexes in ancient Egypt is the Temple of Karnak, located near modern-day Luxor. It covers an expansive area of over 200 acres and is a testament to the grandeur and architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. The construction of the Temple of Karnak spanned centuries, 
with successive pharaohs adding their own contributions, resulting in a complex that showcases various architectural styles and artistic motifs. Fact number 9 The Egyptians excelled in the arts, creating elaborate sculptures, intricate jewelry, and vibrant paintings that adorned the walls of tombs and temples, providing a glimpse into their aesthetic sensibilities. Art held a central place in ancient Egyptian culture, reflecting the Egyptians' deep appreciation for beauty, craftsmanship, and religious beliefs. The Egyptians produced a wide array of artistic creations, ranging from colossal statues to delicate jewelry, and from intricate wall paintings to finely carved relief sculptures. One of the most iconic forms of Egyptian art is the sculpture. The Egyptians crafted statues of gods, pharaohs, and individuals with an emphasis on idealized forms and regal representations. These statues conveyed a sense of permanence and eternity, often made from durable materials such as granite or diorite. The sculptures captured the essence of the subject, depicting them with stylized poses, elongated proportions, and serene expressions. Fact number 10 The process of mummification was a crucial part of ancient Egyptian burial practices involving the preservation of the body for the afterlife. This process involved removing organs, treating the body with preservatives, and wrapping it in linen bandages. In ancient Egypt, the belief in the afterlife and the preservation of the physical body were central to their burial customs. The process of mummification, aimed at preventing the body from decomposing, played a vital role in ensuring a successful journey into the next life. Mummification was a complex and meticulous process that involved several stages. The first step was the removal of internal organs, except for the heart. The organs, including the lungs, liver, intestines, and stomach, were carefully extracted and preserved in canopic jars, which were then placed in the tomb alongside the mummified body. Next, the body was treated with natron, a type of natural salt to dehydrate the tissues and inhibit bacterial growth. The body was packed and covered with natron for a period of about 40 days, ensuring thorough preservation. After the natron treatment, the body was washed and purified. It was then treated with various resins, oils, and perfumes to restore moisture and provide a pleasant smell. The body was wrapped in linen bandages, often containing amulets and charms for protection in the afterlife. If you enjoy the content, we would greatly appreciate your support by liking the video and subscribing to our channel.